The beach in the village of Port Henry looked like a ghost town Monday, closed because of blue-green algae. Lifeguard Amanda French started snapping pictures as soon as she saw the funk. And we sent them in to the Department of Health, and so they emailed us back and called us and let us know that it was blue-green algae, so we had to close the beach and put up some signs and got everyone out of the water. Blue-green algae recently forced Burlington beaches to close. Sarah Voss, the state toxicologist with the Vermont Department of Health, says the bacteria thrives when the weather is hot and calm. And when it's very warm outside and when the nutrient conditions are right, they can grow and multiply into a thick green scum in some of the warm water. The stuff can have a powerful impact on those exposed to it. They can have redness and itching just on their skin. And that's from just coming into contact with the cyanobacteria or the blue-green algae. And if people accidentally swallow some of that water that contains blue-green algae and maybe toxins, they can have symptoms that are a lot like flu symptoms, like stomach cramps and GI issues. As for French, she knows this is an inconvenience. It sucks for the swimmers because it's very hot out today. It sucks for us because we can't go in and we're sitting there. <laughs> but, I mean, it keeps everyone safe, so that's our number one priority. Tuesday morning, lifeguards will reassess the safety of the water. In Port Henry, Robin Esbrook, WPTZ News Channel 5.